Well now, thanks for tuning in. In this video, we will be discuss e statistics. Um, coming from this question one, um, yale question paper ga November two thousand and nineteen, and the description box uzo tolama links for other videos yonga recorded for this question paper. La question one, it's a two part question. Guno one point one and no one point two. 1.1 is a box in whisker diagram or the five number summary and then lagu 1.2 is in a frequency bar graph now lagu 1.1 but a street i mean an ice cream vendor recorded his daily sales for a period of time the number of ice creams that he sold each day is given in the table below now day one Lago day one, we take a five for my ice cream. Day two, take a seven. Day three, eight. Day four, ten. Day five, thirteen. So on and so on. Right. For how many days? Aswa ba one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So la nine for for a period of nineteen days. We got things for my ice cream, and then what record my sales working, right? Okay. Now 1.1.1, write down the mode of the data set. <clears throat> what is the mode going? It's the number. Yele number lena a okera more frequent to go with data set yet. And by the way, um it data nangabu tola it data set a random. Komelo uipale in an ascending order or a descending order. So lucky for us la nabas palele yona in a ascending order but arrange a layer on the data again in mode in the number lay is pinda pinda good data set to bunny in this case it's 15 15 15 15 bump in the guy like one two excuse me bump in the guy three so that makes you 15 the mode of the data set <clears throat> okay our mode is 15 log 1.1.1 1.1.2 determine the median of the data set all right for how many marks okay one mark <clears throat> okay um yellow guys as for a median i'm as good in any calculator and john guys but you know this is what i normally do see as with the median it's the number in the middle of a data set yeah right so I got like a data set. I'm I'm a it data. I'm in a ma set. I got like I nineteen. So let's count. So it means your counter. Let's see. Um, nineteen is a odd number. So it means you a whole number in the middle, right? You a number in the middle. Hmm. Okay. Obvious. Back. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then in the middle is Tolubani with 24. So you need to count equal numbers on the left and then equal numbers on the right. The number you in the middle will be immediately. Okay. So another way, um, especially now I'm going to data set a, a sort of like a name, maybe 120 data sets. So, ganja aloge was counter until, 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 right? It's best to go to seven, say this formula. Lago 1.1.2, the position of a median is always calculated as 1 over 2 in bracket n plus 1. The n is for the number of data sets. I got my data set to it, I 19. So, let's substitute to 19, lago n. And then 19 plus 1 is 20. 20 times a half is 10. So our answer it's it's tenth position. The position of a median is the tenth position. So let's count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Voila. Voila. Our median is twenty-four. So can we say two years in the other zuktola in a median? You count you count from the left and then you count from the right. Uzo tola the number in the middle. The number in the middle uzo uzo we tolly le it's your median. Uh, one point one point three. Calculate the interquartile range. The IQR, the interquartile range, is equal to Q three 
subtract q1 the upper quartile subtracted by the lower quartile q1 right so in this case it's often with this calculators you see tole ulu ganj u q3 no bani no q1 as one again uh, so yeah, you know, in median, you cut a data into two equal parts. I'm going to tell the lower part, which is niggas of Q1, and then the upper part is niggas of Q3. The, the data set on the left of, of median is niggas of Q1, the lower quartile. And then the data set on the right of Ulogange of median is Q3, the upper quartile. So, Lana, I won't do, I won't use the formula. Q3 and Q1, they also have my formula as well. But for the, for this video, I seven Z but instead, I use seven as the method to combo on it. As Q3, one, two, three, four, five, six, Four. So we have one four, um, and then now four, and then in the middle is twelve bani with thirty eight. So it's twelve out thirty eight. Then it's going to be equal to thirty eight minus Q one Q one na ko na so bala four one two three four. And then it's obvious go about 13, but just to be sure, 1, 2, 3, 4, now I pass now 4. So it means Q1, 13, uh, equal to um, 30 minus 10 is 28 minus is 5. So the answer it is 25. Our answer is 25. And then 1.1.4. 1. 1. On the scale line provided in the answer book, Draw a box and whisker diagram for the data set. So, so draw a box and whisker diagram, and then on the answer book, the provided scale it's this one. Uh, I don't know to go exam, um, but come a provide on a scale man. in an exam or a class test. Come a provide back provide the scale so that to was a draw a little guys. But if I back provide, I just you can just create your own scale all right 1.1.4 1. 1. sitting a uh, if five number summary or the box and whisker diagram so sitting a uh, minimum maximum so the minimum in this case nine the minimum is five it's the lower number 55 it's the maximum and then the resting now q1 q3 um, Q2, which is the same as the median, um, nina, okay. So, Lana, in a rule, I am, uh, let's start new Logan, number five, now number five. This is number five. And then, minimum, yeah. And then 55 is our, <coughs> 55 weight, which is the maximum. I maximum and then Q1 Q1 with 13 13 so it's 10 10 11 12 13 13 somewhere 13 somewhere and then go back to 38 35 35 36 37 38 38 now and then we're going to 24 q2 24 now 25 now 24 somewhere okay 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 then we should draw a box lock or a bunch then so we draw a box lock we just connect la the connector and then the lana sees a lana and then the connect my whiskers again to the box voila voila this is our minimum nine minimum here to maximum q3 q1 
q1 q2 1 2 3 4 5 it's a five number summary of the box and whisker diagram now is so erase along the inverses of pendula 1.2 the frequency um, graph okay now 1.2 Lenas in a certain class wrote a mathematics test that had a maximum mark of 10. So let class test by Bali. Let class test by Bali. It was out of 10, right? And then the teacher represented the marks obtained by the learners of this class in the bar graph below. The bar graph showing a distribution of our marks scored in a mathematics test. So a study shell graph um, the first bar is shell is combisa ama learners, right? The number of learners abatole not by ngaiki by two. The number of learners abatole one out of ten by ngaiki by five. Abatole two out of ten by ngaiki by two and then about toilet total it's only one one point two point one how many learners scored eight marks out of ten for the test so one point two point one okay I straightforward this one this is a eight out of ten um see I born with buying I keep buying I it's five learners by five love and one and then one point 2.2 how many how many learners are in this class hmm. okay the number of learners is we told by adding all the frequencies for the for the bars so this is um how many marks or oh, one mark ah, okay buying a cover toilet not by two plus one by five two by two about twelve out of about twelve three out of ten by nine. About twelve four out of ten we one. Or twelve five out of ten no one, and then six out of ten by six. Plus about seven out of ten out of ten by six. Plus eight of out of ten by five. Plus nine out of ten by three. Plus ten out of ten it's only one. So our answer is 40. 40 learners wrote this test. So we have 40 learners in this given class. 1.2.3. Calculate the range of the marks scored in this test. So the range, the range gomelisi calculate. So it's the maximum mark obtained minus the minimum mark obtained or the lowest mark obtained the maximum mark ubani with 10 the lowest mark scored the test ubani with 0 so it's 10 subtract 0 our answer is 10 1.2.4 uh, if the pass mark for the test was 50%, what percentage of the learners failed the test? Okay, in total, so we have to do this. Come on, let's play a buzz where a bunch of people are failing. Let's buzz now as come with a bunch of people are right? So now, you need to obtain 50%. Come on, let's 50% in order to pass the test test so in other words come to 5 out of 10 my guy about 25 no one so anyone who told lower than five who fail anyone who told um above five out of ten who pass it again so tina we have to calculate the two answers for the the, the percentage you want to know about tole about fail or about about 12 less than 50 percent it's by identifying it now it's the four it's, it's the bar for it's the bar um of four marks and the bar of three marks and the bar of two one and zero so come let's add the lava to and then it's by dividing over and add a total number and then it's multiply by 100 so that we can get the percentage so let's calculate um a city the number 
of Lenas who failed. The number of Lenas who failed by Ngaiki is 4, 1 plus 9 plus 2 plus 5 plus 2 right um, 1 plus 9 is 10 um, 12 14 plus 5 that's 19 so we fail in 19 let's calculate the percentage of the number of the number of learners who failed so the percentage of learners who who failed who failed this test is equal to 19 divided by 40 times a hundred so let us calculate 19 divided by 40 times a hundred is equal to 47.5 so that's almost like half the class if a leader was 47.5 almost half the class if a lay this test 1.2.5 calculate the min mark scored in this test the average mark scored by this by this class so it's x bar equal to all right again yeah, since this number frequency is la it means that now we will calculate it or the average we have to multiply the frequency and the mark frequency times the mark so sizoti zero times two plus uh, one times five one times five two times two 2 times 2 plus 3 times 9 3 times 9 4 times 1 plus 4 times 1 plus 5 5 times 0 it's 0 anyway but as he ball as he ball plus 6 times 6 plus 7 times 6 7 times 6 plus 8 times 5 8 times 5 plus 9 times 3 9 times 3 plus 10 times 1 10 times 1 everything divided by 40 which is the total number of learners then we calculate again okay. then we calculate um, 0 times 2 um, 1 times 5 I think I'll fuck up my bracket uh, 3 times 9 plus 4 times 1 plus 5 times 0 it's 0 6 times 6 36 7 times 6 8 times 5 plus 9 times 3 plus 10 since 10 times 1 is 10 so our answer is 4.88 in two decimal places 4.88 in two decimal places so yeah this concludes our video um thanks for watching thanks for tuning in um now we enjoy this video you can show e support for this channel by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel now i want a question or you want to say something as cool me in the description box of this video so for now as one on the next one and bye bye